Hey guys, what's up? It's Simon Creative Productions, and today I am doing a showcase review on Star Wars Row One. And um, today I am celebrating this release because it's not coming out until December, like 15th or something. But anyway, if you're wondering why I'm doing it so early, it's because I am going on a vacation, so I won't be here for the release date of this movie. But um, I decided, oh, why not just do it early? So. Um, they might not be the best figures, it's because I, I rushed through all of them, because I just want to get it done today, because I wanted to get it out before I left. So anyway guys, so I really hope you enjoy this video, and uh, some of the figures aren't the best figures, but um, of course I made 5 figures for the showcase. Uh, so Cassian Andor, Jin Erso, um, Shirat Mwi, uh, Director Krennic. And so Guerrera. So guys, I am so excited to do this. So um, let's get started with the video, shall we? Okay, guys. Starting off with Jin Erso, I am so excited to review her because I kind of like uh, how she turned out, uh, even though I did it quite quick, quite quick. Sorry. And um, so of course I just want to start with the jacket. So the jacket's just like a uh, dairy brown kind of thing, and then I just drew pockets there, and then like some lines on top. And then like there was a uh, dot down there, and then there's this like um, chain that goes from uh, like this the silver dot to this silver dot. It's like a chain that goes down uh, her right side of her jacket, and um a pocket another pocket is on the top um, left of our view anyway. And uh so yeah so that's basically the jacket. There's no uh, hand prints, just putting it out there. And uh she's wearing a black shirt on the inside, and then a bit of like a skin color opening. And uh, her gun is just a, a normal pistol I had. It's it looks kind of a Star Wars gun, so I just decided to give it to her. So anyway, um, for her legs, I just took a normal uh, uh, Death Star Trooper legs, and then I just copied it on there. And but of course with the like her strap going uh, like from there to there. Like holding her gun, but I, of course I can't actually hold the gun. But uh, just turning around, uh, there's not much at the back. Just some pockets there, and then two lines that come down. Yeah, that's basically it. So uh, for the head, I did paint this head by myself, and um, yeah. To be honest, it doesn't look the best head, but uh, it still works out in the end. And her hair is just uh just a normal hair, uh, with a ponytail on the back. So if I know it might not be the best hair, but on the front, if you look at it from the front, it, it looks kind of good enough. So I decided to go with it, and I don't have like, like the one that I really wanted, which was like a curly hair that just goes all the way around. So, um, yeah, guys. So that's um. Oh yeah, and then also a strap that goes from there to the back, but I didn't connect it here. But anyway, uh, thanks. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, better be moving on to the next figure, Cassian Endo. Okay, guys, uh, continuing with Cassian Endo. Um, this figure has a bit more detailing than uh, Jin Erso because I did him later, but um, I just want to talk about the hair first of all because this was my own sculpted hair that just goes around the head and uh, just a few hairs sticking out like that. And um, the head is, of course, an Obi Wan head that I just painted black over. So yeah, and then there's still a few orange parts sticking out, but, um, so for the shirt, it's just a normal, like, um, I forgot the color, but it's like a white, um, peachy color, I don't know, white color, I guess, creamy color, yeah, creamy color, just go with that, and then of course the, uh, like a normal brown jacket, um, that goes, uh, all the way around, and, um, those are like uh, the, the badge, something to represent uh, what he is in the the rebellion, and uh, another silver spot there, and then of course the black lines. Pretty sure they they also pockets. I'm not sure. Um, so on the sides, it's kind of like fins uh, from Star Wars: The Force Awakens jacket, uh, just like lines through it down. Yeah, but of course I didn't do a uh, uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens showcase because I only started this year, but. Um, that's why this is my first Star Wars showcase, but um, for the legs, it's just, you know, normal Death Trooper, you guys have seen that. And then, of course, on the back, um, it's just a line for the jacket and then two sets. And, of course, these were green legs, as you can see. These were actually a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle legs, but um, 
for the gun. It's just a normal tiny pistol that uh, blaster from Star Wars. And yeah, guys, so uh, let's continue with uh, Shira and we. Okay, guys, following up with Shira and we, um, he he was not a hard figure to make, but uh, he wasn't the easiest either because you needed to find a lot of details on him to be honest. Um, so I didn't make his um bow like his um crossbow he had. It's really big. I didn't make that, but I did uh make his uh, staff he had with like two um I don't know why, but Lego made a really huge one, which was pretty cool, but. Still, this one kind of works as well. So two uh, silver straps around it, where the hold, the, where the holding parts are. And, um, so of course, so the white strap it goes um like in an intersection from here, and then, um this thing I'm not sure what this is to be honest, but uh it was like a silver thing with like a button on it hanging from his uh, strap, and this is a brown strap to hold his um bow staff or his um. um um, like the cross, crossbow, yeah, yeah, I just forgot the name there, guys, and, um, so for, uh, this hand, this hand has, um, a lot of printing, this, uh, painting, this one has none, but, um, so for this hand, he has, like, some kind of glove thing that I think he can, like, like, press it and then, like, the bull stuff shoots or something, I'm not sure, but there was a button here that goes, uh, on his, uh, left hand, and a strap that goes around as well, and then of course silver lines. So, um, this thing continues. Uh, I'll just take this off the stand. So this thing continues from his um shoulder down. So yeah, and um, it's not much different on the back either. So yeah, and um, for the legs, I didn't have time to make skirts to be honest. Um, yeah didn't get time but I did I just decided to paint it so I painted the red things that go around so yeah and um of course for the head this is my own painted head again makes him look uh, a bit angry I guess and then this head hair I sculpted as well so I didn't want to use um like you know the normal hair piece that maybe comes down like a bit like Lego's hair piece because his hair doesn't do that I've seen it before and it kind of just stays flat at the top and yeah so it just it's kind of like that it's not much different so yeah guys there's not much else to talk about so uh let's continue with the show okay guys um continuing with uh saw guerrera um i just want to put this out there this figure was quite hard to make so if he's not the best form ever it's because i told you i didn't have much time to work on him but uh and i just took him off the stand and um so, first of all, uh, of course, I just gave him a normal stick, to, uh, like his walking stick he always has. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop this here. Uh, so, I just want to talk about the arm. Oh, stand is so bad, but... Um, anyway, I just want to talk about the armor. So, um, the armor for his... Uh, that goes around his body was a normal, like, knight's armor, that, but I sculpted it to become Saul Guerrero's armor. So, anyway, this is, like, I think his fan. I'm not too sure what it does, but maybe it keeps him alive or something, but his armor that goes on his left hand, and, uh, so, so the fan's right there, and then there's, like, a pipe or strap that goes from there to here, which is brown, so I painted it brown, and then there's, like, a lot of silver lines and, like, like, hoses and stuff on, and straps all over his... Thing. So I just have to paint some there, and of course this um silver hole and there yeah, and a strap there connect with his uh, armor plate here. So I know some of you might disagree that it's black, but the picture I saw I thought it was um um black, not green, because and in, in some of the lighter photos they have green, but I just went with black and then I painted his uh, arms and legs green. But anyway, uh, so, yes, for the armor. And then, of course, on the other one, it's a different type of format for the armor, not like that one on the left hand of his. But, um, so it's just a flat thing, and nothing on the back, because I didn't really get to see any pictures of the back. And, um, for the hair piece, it's like, I sculpted it as well. It's a bit like, uh, Shirat's, but, um, I decided to, um, so I just take this off. And uh, you can see 
that um, I did push holes in it, like, like you know, just push holes with like this ball, um, like those antenna pieces with uh, from Lego. So, and then I just painted those holes white, and then before it dried, you just take a tissue or something and just press it, and it kind of mixes well with the black, so it makes it look like he's old and he also has black hair. So, yeah, I just kept it like that. Ugh. Uh, you know what, I'll just uh, pick it up. So, anyway, this figure, he, um, I just paint, I did paint brown, so you can see a bit of yellow in it, and... Um, you see the silver leg he has. The silver leg he has, you know. So, of course, the both legs have uh, uh, his, like, trousers showing. I don't know what they are, but uh, his robe. And the silver leg goes all around. And then on his left leg, it's actually a thong, if you can see properly. I try to uh, focus on it. Yeah, so it's a thong that goes all the way around because a slipper or whatever flip-flop whatever you guys call it mm. anyway and then um yeah and it just kind of like comes on there and then he it goes all around so uh that's basically it for this figure guys let's move on to the last figure okay of the show. guys and uh finishing the showcase with director krennic so of course being a bad guy um he does have his own uh you know, types of um, detailing and stuff. But anyway, I just want to talk about the hairpiece. So, if you want to see the hairpiece and say, what is that? Well, um, I did paint huge black lines on the lines of uh, Obi-Wan's hair. That's Obi-Wan's. But I just painted a tiny bit of white over it so you can kind of see the black still. And then it makes it look like he has black hair and white hair. So, yeah. Anyway... For the um, uh, for the legs, it's just like normal boots that go around, but they're actually not boots. They they boots only go up to here, and that's actually his pants. But the shirt or whatever you want to call that, it goes all the way down past his belt, which goes down to here. So that's what I painted, and then the gloves, of course. And no uh, hand printing, but I took a Batman cape and just painted it white. Still some purple showings though. And um, that's his uh, badge that shows like uh, what rank he is in the uh, Empire. So yeah, and the belt is there. Yeah, and, and then uh, I took a Magneto head when he was older. But he does kind of look happy, which is kind of weird. But anyway... Uh, let's end the showcase because there's nothing else to talk about. Oh yeah, and one more thing, th those are pens, like that silver uh, line and that silver line, and then black lines that go down. So yes, let's end the showcase and I can talk about other okay, stuff. guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're stuck to the end, thank you guys so much, and maybe most of you haven't stuck to the end, but it doesn't really matter. For this part, um, I just want to say, um, I won't be back till next year, but... I uh, just so this is basically a thank you video. So thank you guys so much for this year and without you guys pushing me I wouldn't have got this far to making figures like these guys and um like legends of tomorrow, you know mm. And uh in the f next year like if you're wondering oh what's gonna happen So when I come back straight away into a bunch of showcases, I'm gonna make two parts of flash the flash CW the flash and I will be making um, uh, Rick and Morty Showcase. I can't do it uh, now, but I will be doing it next year. And uh, other few things. Um, I will be uh, making maybe another Doctor Strange Showcase because I recently did watch the movie and I loved it. And I just, you know, I just want to make other figures besides those three I made. So I might be making, I might be redoing Castellius. I will be making the Ancient One. And maybe Wong. I don't know about Wong though. But yeah. So uh, so for the two part of the CW The Flash. One part will be like season 3 figures. And one will be like season 2 figures. So yeah guys. And um, I will be doing a Star Wars Rebels showcase most probably. And then maybe straight into Guardians of the Galaxy number 2. Which I am very excited for. And uh, I hope you guys have a uh, Merry Christmas. And a great holiday uh, for all you guys out there. And uh, please, uh, 
please subscribe if you haven't and please